Triton submarines was essentially uh, developed and spun off from U.S. submarines to concentrate on two and three passenger submarines. We built four models, uh, two that go to a thousand feet, carry either two passengers or three passengers, and uh, two that go to 3,300 feet, carry two or three passengers. Uh, and then of course now we're working on the Triton 36,000. The 36,003 is a revolutionary full ocean depth submersible. It's the first time that man will be able to get back to the bottom of the ocean, the Challenger Deep at 35,800 feet, since 1960, when Don Walsh and Jacques Picard made the trip in the Bathyscaphe Trieste. It is uh, comprised of a glass pressure hull, which is a transparent passenger compartment. And glass is, is quite unique in that this high pressure glass that we're using actually gets stronger with increased hydrostatic load. So there are some difficulties in terms of working with the material, but our technical partner, Rayatech Scientific, has developed a proprietary process that will allow them to build large glass spheres. And so that's really the technical secret to getting back to the deep ocean. We'll be able to dive to the deepest spot in the ocean, and we anticipate that it will revolutionize man's relationship with the deep ocean. Uh, it's a much more cost-effective vehicle than anything that's been built seven submarines that dive to 20,000 feet, and uh, all of them are very, very expensive propositions. But we're able to build the Triton at a much more reasonable price. So we hope to build quite a few of them. And it's really a commercial vehicle that's built to dive to the deep ocean 365 days a year, if that's what you want to do. So unlike some other subs that make one or two trips, this submarine or series of submarines is really going to be very useful uh, for exploration, for marine science, for any number of different types of individuals or organizations could be interested in making a Triton purchase. Uh, certainly foreign governments might be interested, uh, exploration companies, mineral mining companies, uh, and we think probably the biggest buyers though will be the marine science research community. Uh, whether those are university or quasi-governmental organizations, we see that as our primary. We're the only people, I think, that have the technology and the experience. We have, a, collectively, about 340 years of specialized man submersible experience in our organization. So, and I, with the glass technology, I think we're the only people now capable of